Well guys, it's a valve lash kind of day. Uh, my back's still freaking pretty screwed up, so uh, I need to, I, well, I want to make a video today, so I figured might as well do valve lash. It's not that difficult. I don't really have to use my uh, back or right arm for too much, so I'll be able to take her easy and do a how-to for you guys. So first thing, um, I'm actually going to have to take this breather hose off and unscrew that so we can look at the injector pump timing uh, mark and line it up for top dead center and then we'll go and uh, adjust all the well half of the valves and then uh, we'll do bottom dead center and then we'll do the, the other half of the valves intake is ten thousandths exhaust is twenty thousandths well the tools we're going to need we're going to need a half inch uh, ratchet with um, apparently there's a couple different sizes for the uh, alternator bolt. Mine happens to be 22, yeah, 22 mil. Um, there are some that are 15 sixteenths. So just, I don't know what size you have, but uh, mine's 22. Then we're going to need a 3 8 inch ratchet with a number 5 uh, friggin' Allen head or whatever for the uh, set screws on the on the rockers. We'll need a 14 mil wrench and we'll need our feeler gauges. And I believe that is all other than a pair of pliers to get that hose thingy off. Well the crankcase uh, vent thing it just it unscrews it goes counterclockwise same way you undo a bolt. Uh, it might be a little bit tight so I'll just get a better grip on it and give her. So now I have to get a mirror or something so that I can uh, reflect it down and see if I can see the top dead center mark and I have to keep talking because the neighbor's got his weird uh, elevator type music playing and I, I can't uh, have music in my videos. So yeah, so anyways I'll get to it, I'll find top dead center, show you guys and then, uh, then I'll adjust all the valvey type things. Well, I got it lined up top dead center. There's a little notch uh, on the thing that uh, you line up with that. And uh, I don't have a mirror, so I just use this friggin' light. It's plenty reflective. So anyways, uh, intake valves are on the short rocker. Exhaust valves are on the long rocker. So you're gonna wanna get it in between here and this has got quite a bit of slack so it needs some adjustment shouldn't be able to freaking like i can twist it and rock it and stuff there's quite a bit of slack so i'll have to adjust that one um big 12 valve in the alley cool <laughs> i love that kind but anyways, um, so top dead center, intake, one, two, and four, exhaust, one, three, and five. Bottom dead center, intake is three, five, six, and exhaust is two, four, six. All right, so I'm gonna start adjusting the valves. I'll start with number one, intake. Gonna wanna loosen off the, uh, the nut, so. Or just break that guy gently loose and uh, make sure it's on tighten. And as you're adjusting this little set screw here, you're gonna wanna be feeling it around with this so that uh, I'm gonna have to loosen that off a little bit more. So I'll just, I guess I'll back it quite a bit off. And I guess I don't really need to friggin' have a... Yeah, see, that's too tight now that I can't move it. So... That's just a bit too tight, so I'll just back it off just a hair. Just until it starts to grab. So, I guess that'll friggin' do her. So now when we're tightening this up, we're gonna wanna make sure that this, I just kicked you guys' tripod. Okay, you're still fine. You're gonna wanna make sure that this screw does not move. So I'll stick that in there just to just to make sure that it doesn't move. And then uh, it is moving. Okay, oh freaking stab this guy onto here. 
put it on reverse. And tighten that guy down like that. Friggin' out. So we'll check the valve clearance again. And I'm getting bit on the leg. Feels just a little bit loose again, so just tweak it a little bit. And that should work just like that. That's not too tight. Uh, I can still move this thing around and it's not friggin flopping around super loose so again uh, loosen on that stick that on there and tighten this nut down and Bob will be your uncle. Perfect, so now I'll move on to number two, and we'll just do the same with all of those. center valves all adjusted I will rotate that guy so it's a bottom dead center and then I will proceed to do the rest of the valves so one two four one three five intake exhaust are done now I just gotta do bottom dead center so I'll get to it well guys I'm all done now I got everything adjusted uh, number four exhaust was probably the loosest one I put the the 20 thousandths in and I still had probably another 20 or at least 10 like you could you could wiggle it uh, while the 20 was in between there so yeah very very badly needed to do an adjustment I wonder if it had ever been done before um, but anyways 
Uh, now that I'm done that, I can throw the rocker cover back on for good. And then uh, one step closer. I still got to do exhaust, and I still got to do the, uh, the friggin' uh, injector pump replacement. I'm gonna have to build a special tool though, so that I can press out the, uh, the injector pump, because it's, it's got the tapered shaft, tapered uh, uh, keyed shaft, so I'm gonna have to build a tool, because I don't, I don't feel like buying one, because I'm, I'm thrifty. So, uh, I'll just get the valve covers thrown back on here. They're 10 mils, and you torque them down to 18 foot-pounds, starting from the center and working your way out. So, anyways, uh, I guess that'll do it for me today. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, take care.